Captain Nathaniel Gordon made his fourth and final slave trading voyage to Africa in 1860. Gordon sailed up the Congo River in August and traded 150 hogshead of whiskey for 897 human beings. Half of them were children. He packed them into the hold of his ship, the Erie, as tight as he could, because he knew many would die on the way to the auction blocks in Cuba. But just two hours out of the mouth of the river, the USS Mohican captured his vessel, and Gordon later became the only American ever tried, convicted, and executed for the federal crime of slave trading. And this guy, he was from Portland. Yeah, you heard me right, he was from right here. Not a proud moment for this city, but it's the truth. And Gordon was awaiting his execution in a New York prison 156 years ago this week in 1861. You see, international slave trading was outlawed by the Piracy Act of 1820, but it was rarely enforced. But that changed with the election of Abraham Lincoln just a month after Gordon's indictment. It took two trials, but Gordon was convicted and sentenced to hang. President Lincoln had a reputation for pardoning people, and lots of folks assumed he'd do the same for Gordon once the point had been made. Gordon's lawyer and a bunch of politicians urged Lincoln to do just that, and two petitions numbering 18,000 total signatures came from Portland asking the president to spare Gordon, but none of it worked. The night before his execution, Gordon purposely swallowed strychnine, and doctors had to work all night to save him for the next day's hanging. In fact, they moved up the hanging from 2.30 to noon. And on February 21st, 1862, Gordon was hanged at the Tombs Prison at Five Points in New York City. On an interesting side note, Gordon's grandson, also named Nathaniel Gordon, was managing editor for the Portland Press Herald, Kennebec Journal, and Morning Sentinel newspapers from 1927 to 1945, though everyone said he was a nice guy. So there you have it, a disturbing local tale if there ever was one. But I suppose it's good to remember this amid the talk of Confederate statues and flags these days, that we here in Portland should stay humble because our historic hands and consciences aren't entirely clean.